1870, there was a petition circulated that was submitted to the California State Legislature demanding that women be given the right to vote. And it was while working with Paula Freund and John Sheehy on an exhibit for the Petaluma Museum, we came across the names of eight African-American Petalumans. They were four married couples who signed the 1870 petition. And so I was really excited to know that um, these couples like us, like the black people who live in Petaluma now, were involved in their community, who knew the issues and things that were going on there. We know that they were a part of the uh, AME, which is the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Three of them were trustees of the church. We know this because of a document that was discovered in the Sonoma County archives. So it seems likely that it was through the church that these folks learn about the suffrage petition. I had talked with Catherine and she had told me that there were grave sites at Cypress and so we had decided well let's go and take a look so that we'd have something because we had researched and we had this information but we didn't have pictures and so this was the closest thing to pictures for us of the McFarlands in the barns. I find um, a record of Melvina drafting her will and it gave the witnesses, which was a clue here, because the witnesses were William Haskell and his wife Emma. And William was the son of Abigail Haskell, one of the founding suffragists in Sonoma County and in California from Petaluma, and, um, and he himself was a suffragist. So the fact that they knew each other in this way um, was, is telling. To get to know that some of the black couples were involved in the suffrage in signing that petition and understanding where their grave sites are, it gives me a full picture, more of a full picture of, of who they were and what they did and how active they were in the community. Mm -hmm.